Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see uh, what this underscore uh, underscore small n and underscore capital N uh, is used for. Uh, you would have probably seen in my videos or in the code over the internet, uh, these two uh, things are used. So firstly, they are called system variables. So what, what are system variables? System variables are the variables that are generated uh, within Stata as soon as we load some data set. So they aren't shown in this uh, variable window over here, but uh, they are, uh, you know, uh, loaded, created as soon as we load some data. So if you were to use, uh, you know, see uh, what different system variables are. So what you can do is you can look into help underscore and variables and that would bring you to the <clears throat> help menu of this uh, system variables so uh, there are uh, lots of this different system variables but currently we are interested in this underscore n and underscore uh, capital n so let's understand this and uh, what this underscore n is it stands for the row number so, uh, so specifically which row we are talking about and this underscore capital N stands for the total number of rows. Uh, but to make it clear, let's load some data and we have this panel data of different firms and then we have different years and we have their stock prices. So if I was to generate a serial number, what I would do is generate a new variable name which is this case is sn serial number equal to and i would just write this system variable name which is underscore n so it would create a variable that would have uh, the row number right so it would is it would have a sequence um, and that would represent a row number but what this capital N would do is it would create total number of observations, right? So generate observations and then we use capital N. So it would have total number of observations. So remember we have 19 number of observations. Now this comes uh, more uh, useful when we are using it for different groups. So we have their, uh, in this case we have different firms. So these are different groups. So what we can do is by firm generate firm serial number and give it a row number, right? So in this case, what it is doing is it for each group of the firm, it has generated a, a row number, right? So this is the first row of firm one. This is the second row of firm one and so on and so forth and because there are only six rows for from one so we uh, we go till six similarly for the second firm we have uh, the same uh, c serial number right and then we have serial number for the third firm what if we were to use capital n using the by firm uh, by group option now it would give the total number of observations in each firm so in first firm remember for the first firm we have only six observations so this is the total number of observations for the second firm we have nine observations whereas for the third firm we have four number of observations and uh, if if let's just say i have created a missing value let's delete this value uh, so it would create a missing value over here and if i were to replace this missing value using the previous value what i would do is replace stock price is equal to stock price underscore n minus one so that means n minus one that means the uh, the value in row four right this is what we are saying over here so I hope this was useful and uh, do subscribe to my channel and do hit uh, the bell icon. Thanks for watching the video.